might be a little windy right now, so I really hope you can hear me, but I am at the mall. Maybe I should record this inside because I can just imagine the wind getting in the way. Anyways, I got some pretzels. Sour cream and onion, uh, bite-sized ones, and I just finished watching the movie. Hi. I am right now leaving the mall and I <laughs> I guess I can say I did good. I didn't buy anything originally. Yeah, I did want to browse a bit, but then I realized like I've spent close to a thousand dollars this week ordering online. So I didn't want to buy anymore because, you know, I need to space it out. I can't just spend this much all at once. I was in Nordstrom because I wanted to try on shoes from Valentino's that I really really liked. Oh my god the traffic here is so bad. While I am stuck I was in Nordstrom I wanted to try on some pairs of Valentino's because if I were to buy a pair of luxury shoes they would probably be the first pair I got because I really like the Rockstud collection. Um, they had a pair of pumps with like straps that would intertwine kind of wrap around your legs and I can put up a picture in case people are like what the fuck is she talking about but they looked so nice but they were a thousand dollars and the annoying part about going to these department stores is that they uh, maybe it's just in my head too but I just feel like I'm pressured to buy because oh they spend time helping you out they were attending to you bringing you sizes so I felt uh, I did feel really weird about not deciding to buy even though that was originally my intent so I decided to bring one of my stools over here instead of recording near where the table is because the uh, ceiling light right above it is so much dimmer than these wonderful kitchen lights so i just returned home from my little mall trip man i don't know i i don't know how people can fully enjoy these trips out because the mall the parking was so terrible i think it took me like 15 to 20 minutes to park and then when i left around five o'clock there was still a fuckload of people still not finding parking and that was at five o'clock so um Annihilation. I will say as much as I could because I am usually not a big fan of talking about a movie, especially because it feels very like formal when I speak to the camera for some reason. And um, I tend to be the type of person that has very, you know, random thought process. It's hard for me to put it in words in a good way for people to understand, especially people who have never seen the movie. I will say, I, I think I can confidently say that I like the movie because it was so compelling. I was so curious the whole time. A lot of the times for these kind of movies, I hate feeling mind fucked. And when I say mind fucked, it's like, what the hell is going on? Like you really want to find out, you want an explanation, right, for what you see. And you feel that way throughout the movie very often. So that can be a little torturous at times because you are you feel like you're in the dark. But I liked, I liked the way they um, gradually exposed things. And it was a very beautiful movie too because there are a lot of colors. Uh, I think based off the trailer, you could see that there was like a shimmer. And there was a lot of rainbow colored light like shining everywhere. So... What I liked about this movie, in terms of like cinematography, um, they chose to show a lot of things that were similar to whether it was like light. So they showed a lot of sunrise, they showed sun rays, they showed that a lot. Um, and also stuff that were kind of shimmery. So a shimmer, I don't know how to explain it, but if you've seen the trailer, the shimmer was kind of like... A mix between like a plasticky look and water. I think that's an awful way to explain it. But anyways, they showed shots maybe like behind a glass door or the, if um, in the beginning Natalie Portman's character Lena was talking to Oscar Isaac, her husband, and 
there was a glass of water on the table and when they when she went to touch his hand the camera was showing the hand behind the glass and the water so it looked very distorted so i liked that um there were also times where they showed a lot of cells dividing in two like science stuff and they showed instances of that where she would go to take a drink of water put the glass down and you know how after you drink the area where you just drank from where your lips touch the glass water tends to you know kind of like drip back down the glass or do weird things so they showed an instance of the water like splitting in two so they had a lot of different <sighs> uses of that and I thought it was really cool I really like to spot it great acting of course so Natalie Portman she used to be my favorite actress years ago um, I loved her since V for Vendetta she was also in Beyond the Professional and she is she's a phenomenal actress I believe she took a break for a while because of her pregnancy and she did do a few movies here and there um, a couple years ago, but I, I guess they weren't rated well, so I didn't watch them. I might go back and look them up just to see if the premise itself interests me because fuck ratings. She was really good as the lead. I guess sometimes it might sound feminist to say this, but I actually really enjoyed that it was an all-female cast because, you know, in the past, um, I think in the past I didn't take note of stuff like that too much or didn't bother me as much where a lot of the roles were male dominant and the female roles were always supporting like wives, girlfriends, the hot girl that is the object of attention or something like that. But in this movie, all of them were scientists, all of them were smart, and all of them were the people that like we're doing this brave expedition into the Shimmer. So I really enjoyed that it was an all-female cast. It was. <laughs> when I walked out of the theater, I was like, holy shit, what did I just watch? I felt really strange. I went to go return my jeans. I did just that. And then after that, I decided to try on shoes just for sizing and to know what size I am for specific brands. Now there are there's six more hours until Dota. So I was kind of planning to go to sleep. I, I bought some bubble tea, but I'll probably put that in the fridge and drink it when I get up. And, um, oh yeah, I got one package today. It's the mug that I bought. It's by Zoji Rushi. It's a Japanese brand. And let's just take it out. Ooh. This is apparently 16 fluid ounces. My Saturday is essentially over. I've been awake for only six hours, but I do feel a little tired, so I can probably sleep a little now. Hi, it's 11.30 and you know what? I couldn't sleep past like nine o'clock. Kind of sucked. I think this will tend to happen on the first night I do this switcheroo for Dota. So I decided to use my hour before the game start, I pretty much got out of bed at 11, but didn't really sleep much since 9. Kind of like, was kind of lying in bed doing shit on my phone, but I am cooking some spaghetti right now because I actually haven't had food in quite a while, since maybe 4 to 5 p.m. So this is going to be much needed meal. My stomach is kind of not feeling so great. I also have this from earlier that I never ended up, uh, I didn't end up drinking it, so I do have this right now, which is great. Otherwise, probably some tea as well to warm me up, keep me awake if possible. Good morning. I guess I haven't been recording too much the past few days because if you watch my videos, then you're familiar with the fact that if a Dota tournament is going on, then... What the hell, Milo? If a Dota tournament is going on, then my life revolves around that tournament. So I... This is only the third day. Um, I have mostly been going to work, coming home, going to sleep, waking up at midnight. But after the first day of doing that, yeah, you know, I felt really shitty yesterday so I decided 
to only watch my favorite teams, UB and Virtus Pro. So today I did wake up at midnight for one of the matches they had, which was kind of exciting because it was a match between VP and Navi. And Navi is the team that they did their roster change with that really surprised people. So people just wanted to see, you know, them play each other for drama or whatever. But VP won that game very easily. Um, now, I woke up maybe about 30 minutes ago, took a shower, got dressed. Well, not entirely dressed yet. But it's Newbie versus Evil Geniuses. And oh my god, Newbie got stomped by them last time. Uh, last week at Katowice, apparently that's how you say it too now. Like they keep saying that name and I'm like, what the fuck? I keep pronouncing it wrong. Ah, I just don't like seeing them beat my teams. So I really hope they win. This is just the best of one, but still, like I want my newbie people to win. I am cheering for them. Today I have personal training at one, which I'm looking forward to. I asked him if we could do more abdominal work because that is kind of my focus. I want that flat six pack. Well, for females, I don't, I guess you can still call it a six pack even though you don't see the six line thing. I have been slacking off on exercising at home for sure. Um, it's also going to be hard for me to exercise if I'm watching Dota because I will tend to sleep right when I get back. That way, if I needed to, I could wake up at midnight. So it is Tuesday night. Damn, this week is going slow. Bought a couple things off Amazon for life purposes, like shampoo. I actually decided to buy dog cologne because I don't bathe Riley very often, but lately she's starting to smell extremely dog-like. And hi you, so cute. I don't really have too much against the dog smell, but at times it's like pushing my boundaries. So I tried this cologne thing back when I was in New Jersey and it worked pretty well. And I guess the idea for me at least is to like spray it on her and then I'll just like brush it through to distribute it through her furs. I also bought some more Greenies dog treats because here I'll show. So this is the cologne spray. This bottle is actually way bigger than my old one so I did not pay attention to the size when I bought it. And then these are the treats that I buy her. Move back a little bit. So these are pretty decently sized. They're like this big. And I usually give her one every day. Um, I've been slacking off on it. You're not getting another one. Wow, she's just like sitting down here. So excited. And I just gave her one. But yeah, so the idea is that she's so freaking cute. But yeah, so I slacked off on giving her these for the past few months. So the other day I was sitting on the couch with her and she wasn't even panting in my direction, but I just smelled her awful breath. And I was like, you know what? I need to start giving her these again because I definitely notice that if I feed these to her every day and if I brush her teeth once in a while, her breath doesn't bother me at all. Like it smells totally fine. So need to give them to her again. And then lastly, the stupid teapot. Stupid teapots, I'm so pissed off because I've ordered two teapots. The pink one, which fucking drips, so I'm not keeping it. And then the green one that I ordered before, they were like, oh, we know that it's a common problem with this teapot that it drips, so you don't have to ship it back, we will just refund you. I'm still waiting for that refund. So I bought one more. I really freaking hope that this is the last one I need to buy because honestly, Oh, they gave me a little uh, wooden platform. That's pretty neat. I like that. But this is honestly so ridiculous that so many companies that create a teapot doesn't create it without dripping in mind. It's like, what are you selling to these freaking people that don't care that a teapot is dripping? Anyways, this is a... Uh... I should have showed the whole box. But anyways, this is a glass one. And I guess it's nice that it has this little sleeve that keeps it hot or it protects you from the heat. I'm gonna test this out. Let's test out if this shit drips or not. All right, testing. Please. Yes, finally! 
God. It took me forever to find one that did that. Excellent. We have a winner. Let me turn this down. So it is Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday morning. This week is pretty much all about Dota as expected. So uh, I guess you can say today newbie played at one in the morning and then Virtus Pro played at four in the morning. So I woke up for the newbie game. I was really tired though, so I just watched in bed on my phone. Virtus Pro game I did wake up for, but I was like too tired. So I just decided that I will watch the video later, maybe after this current match right now, because they usually have downtime in between games. So I can just watch it then, even though I already know who wins which was Virtus Pro, so that's great. <laughs> um, but newbie winning this morning means that they are on to the main stage. Um, I believe Virtus Pro is also from their win. So right now, these matches are kind of like elimination. Oh. And today I am going in later because of my stupid package. So I have been, I guess it's kind of a, a nice mentality this morning where I'm like I can sleep as late as I want. My package should be here around 10 to 12 because they tried to deliver it yesterday at 10 38 so I hope it's around the same time. I don't want to go into work too late. Honestly my office is so interesting in the sense that people get there so freaking early. Like I think by 2 p.m. the parking lot starts to empty out. Well not empty but it gets like there are way more spaces available. By three o'clock, it is definitely half full. And it's just crazy to think about that people are there at six in the morning. I mean, six is okay, I think, but I think there are people that go there even earlier if possible. So I kind of like that where by the later half of the afternoon, it's just empty. It just, I don't know. I kind of like that more quiet, uh, less people around feeling, so. If I'm there super late today, there's gonna be nobody around and maybe that's a little scary to be there alone, but <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad. Time to make some oatmeal. Okay, dokes. All right, so I had my breakfast and I'm drinking my tea now just to kind of like wake up a bit more. Um, still waiting on my package, but I'm probably going to uh, finish up a few more things, probably try to walk Riley before I leave because I don't really know if I want to come back during lunch because I'm going to be going in around 12. So if I come back at the four to five hour mark, then that's rush hour. So that's a no go. So I should probably walk her before I leave. That way she's, you know, I don't know, exercise, tired out and just going to sleep for the whole eight hours. But middle of the week, Wednesday. Um, I hope everyone is having a really great week. The weekend will be here soon. So I will close this one out and I'll talk to you guys later.